Groom takes a plunge and becomes a hero during his wedding photo shoot. But before we start, please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell and smash that like button. We really appreciate your continuous support. For every girl from a very young age, they always have a dream to have the most beautiful fairy tale wedding. And when that time eventually comes, from the time leading up to the wedding until the actual big day, emotions are running high. There is plenty to do, so much to organize as undoubtedly the bride wants everything to be absolutely perfect. For this young couple, Clayton and Brittany, their happy ever after had finally arrived and things were going so smoothly. Until they were about to finish up their wedding day photo shoot, things took the most unexpected turn. The young couple, who were originally from Ontario, Canada, had been planning their day for quite a few months. Their decisions were unanimous about where and when they wanted to tie the knot. It was going to take place in the middle of summer on a Friday. They just knew it was going to be so lovely outdoors, and they were looking so forward to celebrating with their family and friends. The two had already spent many chapters together, and tying the knot would probably be the most exciting one yet. Brittany and Clayton had been together for seven years already. They initially met at college in Canada. There was no doubt that now they knew each other very well. They weren't just going to be husband and wife, they were best friends. Little did the couple know that the perfect day that they had been planning would take a dramatic turn of events. The wonderful couple had just said their vows and were finally married. It was a beautiful ceremony with lots of emotions and not too many dry eyes. While their guests continued to nibble on a few light snacks, the bride and groom ventured off with their photographer to take some more private photos of just the two of them. They headed over to a park nearby that had a charming river running through it. The newlyweds and the photographer quickly decided what they all had in mind and got straight to it so they could all get back to enjoy the celebration with their family and friends. Little did they know what was about to happen and how it would instantly impact their special day. It was decided that they would first complete all of the photos together before doing individual shots around the park. In between the clicks and smiles, both Clayton and Brittany couldn't help but notice that there were quite a lot of children hanging around them. What could they be doing? And how come, out of all of the space in the park, they wanted to play near the couple? The couple had hired Darren Hatt to do the honors of taking their wedding photos. They were so excited to be able to work with such an extremely talented artist. He had been seen on CNN, People Magazine, Time, and Brides. So Brittany and Clayton were certain that they would have beautiful memories that would last them a lifetime. However, Darren himself was also completely oblivious as to what he was about to catch on his camera. Darren was finishing up the photographs of the couple before they were going to start on the individual shots. Brittany decided she would have her pictures taken first. The couple were enjoying every moment of their photo shoot, and it seemed so surreal to them that they were actually finally married. Both Brittany and Clayton had been waiting for this special day for what felt like forever for them. As Brittany posed in her beautiful one-of-a-kind dress, her now husband couldn't stop staring at his breathtaking wife. He had tears in his eyes. She truly took his breath away. Although he was completely mesmerized, out of the corner of his eye, he couldn't help but notice that the children were still playing very close to the wedding shoot. It seemed as if they were following the newlyweds. Clayton tried not to pay too much attention. After all, this was his big special day. Nothing was going to ruin it. Darren told Clayton to start getting ready as they would move on for his individual shots. As Clayton was doing so, for some reason he glanced over at the children that were nearby and had a feeling that something was very wrong. Clayton walked towards the river to see if his gut feeling was correct. As soon as he got closer, he realized that one of the children had disappeared. Where could he have gone? They had been next to the couple the whole time. The next moment, Brittany gasps as she sees her husband jumping into the river. She thinks to herself, what exactly is he doing now? When the groom looked into the water, he saw a young boy struggling. Within seconds of understanding that there was a child in danger, Clayton jumped into the river with his wedding suit on. He swam towards the child and grabbed him above the water and pulled him out to safety. This all happened in seconds. Clayton felt as if he was truly in the right place at the right time. 
As soon as Brittany realized what exactly was going on, she immediately turned to the photographer, Darren, for help. But in a matter of no time, Clayton had managed to scoop the young boy out of the water. And even though his bravery would be remembered forever, their photographer was able to capture the heroic moment perfectly. This is what Darren had to say. While I was taking solo pictures of the bride, this little guy was pushed into the river behind me by another child. His quick action saved the little guy who was struggling to swim. He went on to say that he had been in the photography profession for five years and was blessed to have documented hundreds of weddings over that time, each one more unique than the next. But this was something completely out of the ordinary. Darren explained, It's a weird sight to see. It's obviously something you don't see a lot. Thank goodness. Well done, sir. Despite the fact that Clayton was now soaking wet, he, Brittany, and Darren decided to head back to the wedding reception to be with their guests. Clayton, being the person he is, decided he did not want to make a big deal out of what just happened and rather enjoy the day with his beautiful wife, family, and friends. However, naturally, this did not go as planned. As soon as the newlyweds were welcomed back to the venue, it was very obvious to the guests that something was different about Clayton. His expensive suit was dripping wet. He was left with no choice, and during his speech, he decided to retell the story. He explained, His face was underwater, and he was fighting like he was really fighting. Luckily, he was only a little guy, and I just sort of hopped him up. Brittany then decided also to say a few words. I look over and I see Clay in the water and I think, what is he doing? That's Clay, like, that's Clay to me, she said. It's something he would just instinctively do. It was almost like fate. We were meant to be there. Brittany was so proud to be Clayton's bride, she called him her hero. Naturally, news of the heroic groom and his remarkable act of kindness and bravery spread very quickly. Not only did he make news headlines in Canada, but the amazing story of this man saving a child's life had made news all around the world. He became a husband and a savior all in a matter of a few hours. Clayton and Brittany had been married less than a week when they caught their story all over the internet. We can all agree that this story is definitely remarkable, and we aren't the only ones. Some of the major publishers and news websites found this story so inspiring, they broadcast it as well. Some of them include Daily Mail, Fox News, People Magazine, and BBC. In addition, when Ellen DeGeneres heard all about this phenomenal story, she wanted to meet Clayton and Brittany. Within a matter of weeks, Clayton and Brittany had been invited to appear on The Ellen Show. She was, of course, happy to have them join her all the way from Canada. Clayton retold the amazing story, and even though he was not looking for any recognition or gratitude, both he and Brittany did say the young boy walked away as if nothing had happened. Perhaps he was just embarrassed to even give a thank you. Brittany went on and jokingly said that her only one requirement when looking at choosing a photographer for their wedding was someone who would be able to get the best candid shots. And Darren certainly did a terrific job of that. Of course, what happened was indeed very serious and neither Brittany nor Clay were looking for any type of fame from the situation. Ellen was so grateful for Clayton's act of kindness that she gifted the couple tickets to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios. But that's not all. They were then gifted with the most exciting honeymoon, as the couple are both huge Harry Potter fans and included many Harry Potter elements into their wedding. They were being sent all the way to London to experience the making of Harry Potter. This included a full studio tour of the Warner Brothers Studios. Naturally, the couple was absolutely thrilled, but to Ellen, this was just an incredible act of goodness. After Brittany and Clayton's appearance on Ellen's show was aired, their story was all over the internet. Even more so than it was before, this incredible story had gone viral. Net scenes from all over the world had taken to Facebook and Twitter not only to praise Clayton for his heroic actions, but also they wanted to spread a message that there are truly good people in the world. Strangers on the internet were calling him Superman and an angel, but as Clayton had said, as the incident happened, he was not looking for any kind of recognition or reward. He simply did it because it was the right thing to do. The newlyweds were not really aware of how their story had flooded the web. However, the post originally went viral thanks to their photographer. In an instant, it got 10,000 likes and about 3,500 shares in just one day. Sadly, this part of the incident was left out. 
Obviously, the moment after Clayton had saved the little boy's life, the bride and groom tried to find the child's parents. Alas, it seemed as though the three kids that had been playing near the river had actually been there completely unsupervised. This was very disturbing for the newlyweds, but the main thing is that the boy was safe. Needless to say, social media users were not happy about this either. Unfortunately, there are plenty more cases just like this, but not all of them have a fortunate outcome as the little boy did. Drowning is sadly one of the largest causes of death throughout the world. The World Health Organization indicates that over 320,000 people lose their lives due to drowning. Additionally, nearly 60% of these cases occur amongst people who are under the age of 30. But the good thing is, there are dozens of prevention measures people can take.